Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you some tips and tricks using vertex groups and geometry nodes. It's pretty simple, so let's just get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new mesh. So I'm gonna do an icosphere, and uh, we're gonna subdivide it. I don't know, let's go up to four. Uh, I'm gonna increase its radius just to get a little bit bigger. So now that we have our base mesh, we need to create some vertex groups on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to modeling. I'm gonna use the circle select. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna draw sort of a random, I'm gonna get my uh, circle select a little bit bigger here. And I'm just gonna move around the overall sphere so that you can see we have um, a small number of vertices selected, but it is not um, the entire sphere. So now what you do, once you have those selected, you go to vertex groups, create a new vertex group, and we're just gonna call this group affected, meaning these are the items that we're going to use in our geometry node. I'm gonna assign them, so you just hit the assign button for these vertex groups. So now that we have that, let's go into geometry nodes, select new, and what we're gonna do is, I would like to just instance some uh, cylinders facing outward on the vertex group that we created. So within our geometry node, the way that you do this is, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a primitive of a cylinder. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do instances on points. So what you do is you take your geometry and you uh, run it into the points here. Then for the instance, we're gonna use our cylinder and we're gonna attach the output like this. Okay, so the size is a little big for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do input value. going to use this as our scale so this way I only have to adjust one number and I'm going to set that down to 0.1 also on the depth here we can make the cylinders taller by increasing their depth so now the question is how do we get the vertex group so I just want to instantiate these cylinders on the vertex group. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the selection node and drag it over here. Now I would like to rename this instead of being selectioned, I would like to name it vertex group. So what you do is you open up the side panel, go to group, here is selection, here you can go ahead and name that vertex group. Now that we have that, what you see is that over here, you're gonna see that on our geometry node, we have this input. So there's the geometry itself, and now we have vertex group. So if you click here, uh, you don't get a listing of any of your vertex groups. You have to hit this little plus sign. And once you do that, you can scroll down and see at the bottom here, we have our affected vertex group. Now once I've done that, you see now we're limiting the location where we are creating instances on the points. So the next thing that we're going to do 
is I just want these cylinders to be facing, um, uh, basically pointing outwards from the center of the cylinder. And that's pretty simple. What we have to do is we have to update our rotation. And so in order to do that, you have to use a node. I want you to search for Euler and it is called align Euler to vector. Okay. So if we put this down here, so the question is align Euler to vector, the output rotation from here is what's going to go into our rotation on our instance node okay like this so on our instance to point so the question is which uh which vector are we trying to align and what we actually need to align to is the normal of each of the vertices and the way that you get that is um if you go to input normal okay so this this node here will give you the normal for each of the vertices so we're going to plug this into here and you see now we're aligning the euler or the uh the instance that we're creating to uh the the x vector if you change this to z it will point them outwards so now you see that we have increased the, uh, changed the direction which they are facing. And we are only spawning on the vertex group that we created in our initial mesh. So that is really about it. Now I wanna show you another way to do the relatively the same thing, but it is done slightly differently. So here we took the geometry and we did instance on points. Um, another thing that you can do is for the geometry, this is what I wanted. So if you go, if you do point, distribute points on faces. So instead of, instead of using instances on points, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, okay? We're going to get the same output, but just going about uh, slightly differently. So if you do distribute points on faces, so here we're saying we would like to um, take each of these faces and distribute our points on the faces that are associated with our vertex group. So with these points here, sorry, go back here, instances on points, thank you. That's what I needed. So now we're gonna take these points, put them in here, and right here you see it's got selection. So again, we can just take um, the, we could either plug this in directly, let me show you here. So we'll take this output here. The instance is going to be right here. Let's hook up the scale again. Okay. So you could either take the vertex group and put it right here, and you see that it is now limiting according to our um, our vertex group. If I plug in the rotation again though, you'll see that I'm trying to get it to do the same thing, but now the rotation is not working, right? Even though I'm using the normal and aligned Euler to vector, it's still not working correctly. And the reason is, is that this, this is taking the vertice, Vert, uh, normal of the vertex, but because we use this function, this node here, it's distributing those points on the faces and you have to take the normal from, the output normal from that, plug it into here. 
and now you can see that it is it is um rotating rotating effectively here you'll also notice that um, we can control the density um, and the we can use the different um, the different minimum distances so if we go back to random here we can reduce the density so it's still distributing only on the vertex group that we applied or the faces that were in that vertex group but you can control the density more using this technique um, anyway I hope this was uh, informational I haven't posted in a while I've been very busy but uh, as usual thank you very much and uh, for the uh, the weekend warriors doing uh, blender and unreal engine work uh, good luck to you thanks take care I hope you enjoy bye